I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you, Virgo, for the week of July the 3rd. Now, a little bit of general business. I do have a sale on for the 4th of July, sale on all of my private readings, my consultations at the moment, 20% off. So go along and have a look at that on jenniferangel.com. While you're there, please subscribe to my newsletter. And if you haven't heard of Steemit, S-T-E-E-M-I-T.com, it's a great way to support uh, content providers like myself who give away a lot of free material because Steemit actually pays you <laughs> when you when you like or upvote, um, actually pays you for posting. So, um, you know, that's a, you're a Virgo rule by Mercury, so maybe you've got a lot of things you can post yourself, okay? All right, let's have a look at what's, what's going on. Um, now, we have a lot of connections happening for you you um, this week and there's, n there's no nothing actually in your sign but a lot of influences so first of all right opposite there's a uh, a very nice trine. It's happening around midweek. In fact, most of the stuff is happening around midweek <laughs> this week, which means there's a build up to it and a and a build down. Um, but the uh, romantic um, uh, planet of Neptune, planet of inspiration and imagination, uh, has a very nice trine, which is a soft aspect with the sun. Now, the sun sits in your area of friendship, so this sort of suggests to me that there's something very nice happening on a social love level for you this week, okay? So try to just enjoy it rather than analyze it too much and, and try to just be in the moment more. Now, Venus is on the move too, and she's going to move into your career zone. So this suggests that um, things are good for money and connections with people. And as Mercury moves uh, into your uh, midweek, into the sign before yours, this gives you a very sharp instinct. So pay attention to your instincts. It's like, you know, when you meet people and, you know, as a, as a Virgo, you try to sort of make everything around right you don't like to give up but you know there's people for people and sometimes it just doesn't gel so tune into your instincts and ask is this person going to be right for me what no matter what situation whether it's you know professional or personal and you get once you get a feeling for that then you know that sort of gives you a hint of uh, how that's going to proceed and can perhaps save you a little bit of time all right um, but certainly with mercury moving into that sign before you is, is an is an area where a couple of things can happen and i'll chat about this for a little while because mercury is your ruling planet um can help you get down to any issues, you deep dark sort of issues or secrets that perhaps might be blocking you from having all you want in your life. This is a 12th house area. So uh, it's a, an area of inner concerns or um, how you feel about things. And once you can get in touch with that, you can sort of bring it up, release it and, you know, get uh, and then get on with it and do some affirmations about what you do want in life, okay? Uh, it's also an area which is sharp for intuition, as I said, and but it's a very imaginative. You're, you're a highly creative person, Virgo, anyway, you know, so detail-oriented, yes, but highly creative. And this really helps you, you know, Get ideas that you've had for a while and start to get them down on, on paper, <laughs> being an earth sign uh, or the computer, and formalize them more, okay? Now, be careful of sharing too much with a friend. Um, in There's Mars and the Sun in this area of friendship and social uh, events and or occasions, and there is a square between the Sun and uh, Jupiter, because what would a week be without some sort of challenge, okay? And the square between the Sun and Jupiter does 
suggest to me that if a you know you got a bit of a know-it-all a friend yeah well take that into consideration you might want to sort of cut their estimate in half and right at the end of the week we do have a full moon okay now this is in your uh, area of connecting with people there could be a little bit of a power battle going on and sometimes you need to do that to take a stand and let people know hey uh, you know this is my ball game I'm in charge um, and this is the way that I want to do it okay so um, that's all fine it's also an area with love where it can bring things to a head okay if it needs to and that's a good thing too because it helps to clear the energy all right so the card I've selected for you from my favorite pack John Holland's psychic tarot deck is I put it up the right way is partnerships and alliances okay so I love this because there's you know there's a lot sort of connecting with people there I there is some sort of letting go as well if you decide that you know some people are just um, perhaps you know outworn their welcome or their use by date has come up but in a sense it's very much a connection and I love the colors of the blue and the purple because that sort of says to me that it's like there's a balance between the male and female and the yin and the yang and the number is three. Oh, there we are I'll take my finger off the actual word the number is is three and that's a very creative communicative number so uh, there's lots of connections for you this week lots of areas where you can get together with people and move forward okay so have a great week don't forget to visit jenniferangel.com i'll see you next week bye for now